Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st, okay? So we're still pretty much, we are very much in the full moon energy. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for right around the 21st? The fool. So fool is doing something on a whim, right? It's a new phase. It's a new beginning. So we do have, it could be a spur of the moment thing. It's stepping forward in faith, okay? Chariot reversed. Now chariot reversed is some sort of uh, delay, stagnation. Um, out of control, lack of control. So definitely right next to the fool. I feel like somebody has been delaying a new beginning, but now there could be a lack of restraint or something like that. Chariot reverse. There could be some fear though, because, but that is fearless. Um, let's get another card. The fool, then the chariot reversed. Lack of discipline, lack of discipline, no discipline. Six of wands reversed, so lack of success. There's no success, both chariot reversed, six of wands reversed, no success. Um, no victory. doing something suddenly. We have some sort of no determination, losing a battle, losing this competition, not putting in much effort, no determination or lack of determination. Um, somebody maybe no desire to do this anymore giving up giving up somebody's giving up they've lost their drive they've lost their drive in a certain situation there's this isn't winning it's not winning because there's this is there's too much opposition there's no support not getting any support this is a losing battle it is a losing battle. Somebody may be fighting a losing battle. Um, there could be an emotional outburst ahead or an angry outburst ahead. Or somebody's been stuck. They may not be going anywhere. You know, this chariot reverse is not going anywhere. Sun reversed. Ooh. So this is unhappy, unhappy, loss. You know, the Six of Wands is a loss. So, so there's unhappy, there's loneliness due to disillusionment. There's uh, poor logic here. Unable to control. Uh, somebody's unable to control something. There's darkness, there's a lack of clarity. Um, there could even be some poor health, you know, with the sun card reversed. Um, we may have somebody here that has, you know, a broken relationship. The sun reversed is not good. It's unhealthy. Um, six of wands. Six of wands is, is there's some sort of competition. Uh, this is a losing, losing, losing this battle, losing a loss. There's a loss. We have somebody, somebody could be being told no because the sun card is a no you know the chariot reverse is a stop cause something coming to a dead stop so something could be coming to a dead stop there's no growth somebody's not getting they're not winning they're not winning because maybe they didn't put in effort or something i mean the chariot reversed is 
not going anywhere, you know, not showing up. The chariot reversed is some sort of coming to a complete stop. No, no drive. Somebody's not going. They're not, they're not taking initiative. But that fool is, you know, doing something on a whim. So let's see what we got here. Six of cups reversed. So six of cups reversed is freedom from obligation. Could be packing up and leaving home. Selective memory. Um, clinging to the past, clinging to the memories, <sighs> going backwards. Somebody's been stuck. We have two sixes reversed. They've been stuck. They've been uh, in some sort of disillusionment because the sun is reversed, okay? They've been avoiding challenge, fighting a losing battle. Six of Cups reversed. That is clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. Uh, High Priestess reversed. Not listening, not listening to intuition, maybe choosing to ignore or listening to poor advice. Somebody's been listening to poor advice or ignoring their intuition. Staying stagnant, staying stuck. That chariot reverse is not going anywhere. Disillusioned with the sun card. The lovers reversed on the bottom. Okay? So the lovers reverse is a separation. It's a detachment. There's no unity. There's a lack of unity here. There's a lack of connection. There's a disconnection. So somebody is is disconnecting from a partner or they're already disconnected, right? This is like a, a separation. I feel like we have uh, a conflict or disharmony. Now we have three sixes, all three of them are reversed. So we got somebody here that is clinging. They're clinging to something that should be in their past. It's not compatible. It's not compatible. It's not a perfect match. Um, there's no victory here. There's no victory. There's no success. Sun reverse next to the chariot reverse and the six of wands reverse. That's no, there's no growth. There's no victory. There's no success. Um, not listening, listening to poor advice. Um, but that fool card is taking a risk. So there's an other, another opportunity here or the, the lovers wouldn't be here. This is a card of consequences. It's a card of consequences for choices. If there's no movement, if there's no decision that is being made because of disillusionment or the inability to see something or to face opposition or to take charge, you know, then there's, there's going to be a loss because a six of wands reverse is a loss. It is. It's a loss. It's a, it is. I feel like there's a secret that is about to be revealed, something that has been hidden in the dark. Somebody's been ignoring the light, they've been ignoring their intuition, they've been ignoring their own happiness, fighting a losing battle, which we've already talked about. There's something to do with children here as well. We may have somebody here that wasn't nurtured as a child. Sun reversed next to the Six of Cups reversed. Maybe they didn't have a very good mother, you know, they, they, so they don't know what love is, you know, so they, wanna, they want to stay in a stagnant situation to prove themselves. But the lover's reverse is some sort of detachment. It is a detachment. Somebody could be definitely hearing the word no. Somebody may be choosing to be single, you know, with the high priestess reversed. It's somebody that doesn't, you know, I, no. Right next to the sun card, no. I, I don't want to engage myself in any sort of competition. The six of wands reversed. Before that is the five of wands. So there's some sort of competition here that is going on. 
<clears throat> I was going to clarify the fool and I got the queen of pentacles. So interesting. Now the queen of pentacles is the queen of value, right? She's the queen of value. It's a very fertile time. Um, it's, it is. It's harvest time by the looks of things. Okay, this queen of pentacles is a hard worker. She's very grounded. She's practical. She's realistic. She's devoted. This is a mother earth, right? She's a mother. She's devoted. She's a business, business oriented, has a lot to offer. <clears throat> this queen of pentacles, she looks like she's considering something. She's looking at that ace of pentacles. She's considering, uh, I don't know, maybe she's considering who she wants to give it to. Um, she's holding on to an opportunity. She has a golden opportunity in her hands that she has worked really, 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 really hard for. It looks like she's got on an apron, so maybe she's getting in the kitchen. We may, we may have somebody here that works in a kitchen, or she's a chef, or she cooks a lot. This apron has a bunch of vegetables on it. Um, now, the fool is spur of the moment. Something could happen very, very suddenly. Now, the, I put this queen of pentacles right Okay, let me just show you. She may not know that something is coming. Okay, so because she's looking in a different direction. I feel like something is coming. It may happen all of a sudden. So, six of cups reverse, six of cups reverse, right underneath that fool. That is uh, freedom from obligation. You know, so she may be setting somebody free. She may be in a position of authority, the Queen of Pentacles. And the Fool card is freedom as well. So somebody may be setting somebody free because, you know, they know their value. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Value. She is. Setting somebody free, telling somebody no. The Sun card reverses a no. Um... Very secure. So somebody is headed towards an individual that is very stable, hardworking, has a lot to offer. I mean, the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles does it all. She cooks, she cleans, she works. She's, she's very grounded and stable. Could be dealing with an Aries with that Fool card. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have the Cancer here we also have leo here but some there's some sort of no 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 with the chariot reversed and the sun card reversed um no victory here i mean hey two of wands reversed so there's some sort of indecisiveness stuck stuck there's fear of change and this is going right in the middle underneath the chariot reverse next to the sun reverse there's some sort of cancellation here i feel like somebody is uh canceling something or they're withdrawing or you know they're too they're holding themselves back they're deciding they're deciding not to go or they're deciding not to accept they're stopping something there's, there is a stop here there is a stop the two of wands reverse and the chariot reverse and this there's, a, there's like a delay, something, I feel like there's something, somebody that was about to do something and they're, and it feels like they're saying no, there's, there could, they are probably about to say no. There's a choice with the two of wands, there is a choice. I'm making a choice, um, clinging to somebody in the past, I believe. That could be the problem. You know, the past is hindering a new beginning. There's reluctance here. There's reluctance to move in a new direction. We have an individual that is procrastinating. They're procrastinating because they don't want to deal with the challenges of starting over. Okay? And I feel like whoever this person is that is procrastinating is going to lose because they don't have the determination and the uh, ability to face their fears for one there's a lot of fear here fear of opposition fear of 
uh, there's disgrace as well. There could be a, there could be somebody here that is afraid of what everybody will say if they move forward. Somebody is stuck. They're stuck. They're really, 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 really stuck. Um, there could be some embarrassment, you know, because they, they made a poor decision. They made a poor choice. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands on the bottom. This is a challenge. Being caught off guard. This is being caught. Somebody is going to be caught off guard. There's going to be some opposition. We have somebody here that's been avoiding opposition. They've been avoiding challenge. Okay? They have. They have. With the Chariot reversed and the Six of Wands reversed. And they have been. They've been, they've been fighting a losing battle. And this is somebody that doesn't uh follow through you know they're kind of lazy um there may be some unwelcome news that is coming with the six of wands reversed and the sun reversed somebody's probably going to be caught off guard by an individual get prepared okay i would say get prepared for some sort of challenge okay you may need to protect yourself. You may need to defend yourself. We may have somebody here that is defending themselves, that is going to be protecting themselves, pushing somebody away. There could be a fight. There could be an argument here. Get prepared for a challenge because the chariot reverse can be an emotional outburst ahead. We, had, we could have somebody here that is very unhappy about losing. The chariot reversed and the sun reversed and the six of wands reversed. That's unhappy about, you know, something that has come to a dead stop, losing. So somebody could be really unhappy about losing and they uh, pick a fight or something like that. Or they decide to fight. I mean, there's, there's a fight. This is a fight of some sort. lovers is upright so there could be a fight that pushes somebody in a new direction as I was shuffling that's what I heard that's what I saw I saw that we have because the fool is headed right towards that queen of pentacles after there's some sort of battle Unexpected choice in love, uh, kindred spirits getting together, being brought together. Right? There's some sort of attraction here. There's some sort of connection. This is a major choice. Like we have shared values. This is falling in love, feeling very comfortable where you can be yourself. You know, somebody is going to be making a choice. There's been procrastination. They've been procrastinating. They've been in a dark situation. They, and there could definitely be a fight with that seven of wands and the six of wands reversed. Somebody has been avoiding challenge, but there could be a rejection here. Maybe they're in a broken relationship and they've been unaware that whoever it is that they're dealing with has been getting ready. I feel like somebody has been getting ready to release them which is interesting. We do have a new beginning here. We absolutely do. With that fool card. Doing something risky, may taking a risk, uh, stepping into new territory. And underneath, I put that lovers right underneath the fool, so that's an unexpected choice, okay? Connection. Somebody may have had something happen you know, that they did not expect, and maybe it's a, it's a, um, attraction of some sort. Maybe it's even a past life connection underneath that lovers is the six of cups reversed. So it could be a past life connection. There's definitely two people that 
are meant to be together. These two people have everything in common. They're, it's an easy match. It's a perfect match. It is definitely a perfect match. I feel like these two people are, I don't know if they're coming together during this time or what. That's what it looks like to me. Marching to a new beat. That's what I just heard. Somebody's going to be, it's like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. After there's been some serious delays. Ooh, five of swords. So five of swords is hostile, right? This is defeat, admitting defeat, walking away. Um, <laughs> So, you know, I'm not sure what is going on, but there could be definitely a fight or a conflict or a battle where somebody gets pushed away. They get, and it's interesting because I saw that way before about somebody getting pushed away. What they don't realize, what they don't realize is that whoever it is that they're getting pushed away is headed right towards another partner. We have a very smug, smug, smug individual that is unaware they're unaware they are they're unaware that whoever it is that they are pushing away has another option there is another option here This Queen of Pentacles may be turning her back on a fool. She may. She may be she may be setting something right to a stop, you know, putting it to a stop with that chariot reversed. The answer is no, I'm not I'm not engaging in competition. And I'm not getting involved in some sort of competition. Let's get another card on that Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Value, right? I've told you, she, she holds on to her value. She knows her value. She does. It feels like she's turning her back on a situation. She is. She's the Queen of Worth. I mean, Nine of Wands reversed. That's avoiding challenge. It is. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles next to the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is great personal fear in reverse, an untrustworthy, avoiding challenge, overwhelmed. Okay, refusing to compromise. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going not going to compromise. I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to compromise my value. Okay. Oh my God, I was gonna get another card on that. Two of Cups, so the Two of Cups is a union, right? She may be waiting, she may, she's, she may be waiting, she may be waiting for the perfect match. She may be protecting herself, there is protecting. I feel like we have somebody here that is protecting themselves because they expect trouble, the Nine of Wands. This is somebody that has been wounded before and has a lot of life experience that isn't unwilling to budge, unwilling. So putting up a wall, putting up a barrier, waiting for a perfect match. The Queen of Pentacles, somebody is waiting for the perfect match. There is some sort of union though because the Two of Cups is now right next to the lovers. So I think that we have somebody here that may be avoiding. Yeah, the Nine of, Nine of Wands reverse right next to the Queen of Pentacles. That's avoiding. It is avoiding. Expecting trouble from a partner. Expecting trouble. But it feels like this union, there's a union that is being brought together from above, okay? With the lovers and the Two of Cups. She's considering. She's considering her value. She's considering what she has to offer. And she obviously has two choices,
We may have somebody here that's trying to threaten somebody as well with that Five of Swords. Six of Pentacles. We have a lot of sixes. So this is about taking the journey to balance and harmony and, and making that move, taking the next step, getting your life back on track. Somebody has been disillusioned. They have. They've been playing games with a player where there's no success. There's no victory. They've been delaying. They've been delaying their own happiness. There's a lot of distrust, and I feel like we have somebody here that doesn't trust because they were so wounded so badly in the past. Anyhow, the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about um, an offer, okay? It's about a generous offer. It's about um, kindness and generosity and um, giving and receiving. This is about balance, about getting what you deserve. Somebody is about to receive something or they have received something that can bring balance to their lives. This is kind of like justice. It even has the scales on this one, which a lot of times it does in the Six of, six of Pentacles. This is about balance. And the two of the two of all sixes are about balance. And the two of cups is twos are about balance as well. So we have somebody here that is making a choice. They're making a decision in regards to what they deserve. Okay. And they're this is a this is probably a difficult decision. There's a lot of distrust. There's a lot of distrust. Um There, there is somebody here that's making a big choice. Um, they are going to be, this is somebody that knows their value and has a lot to offer and is making a, it's a, it's a choice. It is definitely a choice. Um, it may have to do with starting over, starting from scratch, doing something on a whim getting into a new partnership king of swords reversed now the king of swords reversed is an individual that knows what they want and is unwilling to budge unwilling to give up so this somebody may put up a fight they may put up a fight and i saw that with the seven of wands as well it could be a battle that isn't over yet. Somebody may think that, you know, they've pushed somebody away and the battle isn't over yet. Somebody may put up a fight. The King of Swords is very decisive, knows what he wants and doesn't take no for an answer. So, there's definitely, I feel like there's going to be a conversation. There's going to be a challenging conversation between two people that are potential soulmates okay i think there's going to be a conversation i think it's it could be a difficult conversation there's going to be some words that are said we have an individual that is unwilling to budge they've made up their mind they know what they want there could be some temporary problems but this person is not they're not willing they're not willing to give up so they're going to i feel like this person is going to do whatever it takes to win So uh, get prepared. I think there's going to be a battle. There's going to be a fight of some sort or a conversation. I think it's a challenging conversation. Um, it does have to do with the partnership. It does definitely have to do with the, with the relationship. It's about what, I, what, what you deserve. Something like that. Good luck.